December 7, 1975, when the Indonesian army invaded East Timor. Only 300 miles north of Australia, East Timor was a Portuguese colony. The Indonesian troops, backed by planes and warships, invaded the territory which had belonged to Portugal for 400 years. East Timorese have been fighting them since. just beginning to get the world's attention. That is because Western reporters were inside Indonesia when soldiers opened fire on a group of civilians. It's all the different sides to the story. Um, and what a lot of the people of Timor went through to sort of fight for their independence. It was a really, really enlightening experience. Everyone here is so lovely. We've had so much fun tonight. Oh, to meet all the kids there. And we're in a dump truck. Okay, so Souls is basically where the youth of Timor can come and they learn English there. So it's a really good way for them to learn new skills as well as how to get a job and it's really helped them in Timor to you know, get into that workforce. So what's the main purpose of Souls for the kids? The main purpose is basically to help them become confident, help them to get back in life so that they can be, do some contribution to this community. We want them to give back. We want to change people instead of a taking community to be a giving community. So the main sport they play here is soccer and it's been a real eye-opener to play with them and play soccer with them. Even through all our towns, little kids will come in and join halfway through a game and it's always something that really, really makes us smile after kicking a goal. Uh, we're here at the community house. This is Tio and Tia's house. And it's 
running as a community house at the moment until they build a new one. But out of this, they're running a microfinance, which is where they, they lend a bit of money and they, they take a small interest rate back so that people in the community can build the houses or the farms that they need to, you know, grow the food and they can eventually pay back the loan. And they're running it out of this tiny little wooden box and they just put a little bit of money in there every day and so they can run this microfinance business. It's quite incredible. They, they do, they have a training from the organization um, Abura and then how can they manage it to make it um, cheap, making them um, peanut butter. <laughs> this is the Aban is the bank. The, the organization is a bank, Aban. <laughs> they call Aban. <laughs> They stop. She needs the people in Swai. They kill. They kill these people. Some they bury. Some they they just burn there. The place where they burn. Is We're here at Mass um, on Palm Sunday in Maliana. Palm Sunday is a very significant day to the Catholic calendar. It's the day that Jesus entered the city and the people lay down their palms so that he uh, would not have to touch the ground. really learned on this trip is that you just have to live every day like it's your last. You can't just wake up in the morning and just want to lie in bed all day. I think what I'm going to take out of this trip is just taking a page from the Timorese People's Book and just being more positive, being myself even though I'm so scared to do it and waking up every morning positive, smiling and just making the day the best it can be. So this year we've really formed a connection with the Bobonaro School up in the mountains and to continue with our friendship we need people to come next year and to continue working with them to build a big, to build a better friendship. <laughs> no